the former BBC local radio presenter turned YouTube truther. Alex Belfield has been found guilty of four stalking charges against broadcasters. You've been found guilty of stalking, you're now a stalker. How does that mean? Alex Belfield repeatedly harassed his victims via email and on social media in relation to the theatre blogger Philip Dehaney and the broadcaster Jeremy Vine. That little Dehaney mental fella, little bipolar kid who's one minute mincing on the uh, airwaves. Because if stalking someone is just saying hurty words about you online, then... It's not sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. This Philip Delaney, what a low-life scumbag you are. A guy who's clearly mentally ill. The judge said Alex Belfield weaponised the internet. I sent him an email tonight. I found his mother. I don't know whether you know about what I'm talking about, but if you don't, I'd like you to. And if you're watching this, uh, I have been sent to jail. That was a lot, right? Well, that was just the tip of the iceberg. Those are clips from videos that I will begin to upload on YouTube. I am Philip Dehaney. And I need your help. I was a theatre blogger and I'm now a volunteer for the Terence Higgins Trust. I need to raise money for legal fees, starting with £1,550, to claim compensation from ex-BBC presenter Alex Belfield, who harassed and stalked me, and then threatened he'd be back. And as we know, I was sent to jail for stalking, two proper stalking and two half stalking, whatever that means. And they can punish me, they can send me away, they can gag, they can put restrictions, but they can't silence me. Uh, I sleep very well at night knowing who I am. I will never give in and I will come back bigger and stronger. I will be back. I am one of several victims who were harassed by ex-BBC presenter Alex Belfield, which led to him being jailed for five and a half years. After his trial concluded, but before he was sentenced, Belfield publicly revealed information about my HIV status. He'd had a terrible time, and I told the court I felt bad that he had a lifelong condition, that his career had ended and he was living with his parents. I'm now claiming compensation from him in the civil courts under the Protection from Harassment Act 1997. Belfield's awful campaign of harassment against me, much of which was directed at my sexuality, We found out that Philip Dehaney had gone and had many of my videos removed that had any mention of him. We found out that most of them weren't taken down immediately and most of them weren't taken down at all, but he kept trying. He constantly published harassing videos about me and others and made a lot of money from YouTube advert revenue and by asking for donations from his followers. Philip Dehaney, who is the worst scumbag of all, who said that I made him want to commit suicide at a time he couldn't believe how many people were tweeting him and saying oh good for you little philip like he's some lowly loser well he is a lowly loser that's proven by his stats and of course this was all virtue signaling to get attention on the back of my demise this video is brought to you by our new sponsor reactiveplus.com if you're looking for full spectrum five star golden standard cbd oils capsules or vape go to reactiveplus.com please help me in the comment box below the gofundme page 100 percent refundable if and when we win i don't want to make a penny I simply want to clear my name. The impact on me has been huge. My reputation has been seriously damaged and I lost my passion, confidence and an income as a theatre blogger. I'm now seeking therapy. And that, that's exactly what Alex Belfield is doing. He is perpetuating hate crimes and he's a cyber bully and Twitter and YouTube need to shut him down. They need to stop him because they just need to stop him. I have already spent over £4,000 and have to pay £1,500 for the work done to get me to this stage. Unless Belfield agrees to settle with me, which seems very unlikely, I will have no choice but to issue court proceedings against him. And my costs for taking this all the way to trial could end up being £100,000. If you are able to help, donate or share my story, please do. I have begun to upload evidence to my website www.iamthat.uk and I will continue to upload videos on YouTube until this matter is resolved. 
This is my chance to tell my side of the story and I will share everything with you about what happened to me. If you have any questions, please do ask. Thank you.